Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it your studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time they are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. This is one of the word problems that was uh, given in one of the question paper. Um, in mathematics n1 which confused some students but actually it had just a slight trick and when you just master that trick it won't catch you next time in the exam now let's check this example it says the difference between twice a number and six equals to 12 calculate the number so it's quite uh, kind of an, a confusing statement but you need to analyze it uh, parts by parts the first part says the difference the word difference means a, a minus. So that's the first part. So we're going to be subtracting the difference between twice. Twice means you multiply by two, twice a number. So we don't know that number. We are going to make that number be equal to x. So already you can see two x is coming and six equals to 12. So you can see the equal sign there to 12 so we know the numbers are involved there so now says calculate the number the first part you need to do is to say let the number be equal to x so that's the first part again to say now when you have identified that the number is x and then they told you that there is twice a number so which means you're going to have 2x so you have got 2x which is twice a number and then they say the difference between so there is 2x and then between which means there are two numbers between twice a number and six so you have 2x and you have six and the difference is minus so the difference in other ways you are supposed to subtract 2x minus six that's the statement you say is the difference between twice a number and six and they are telling you that this is equal to 12. Now they want you to calculate the number. It is a linear equation, straightforward. What you need to do now, you take this, the negative 6 to cross the equal sign to join 12 so that you have got 2x is equal to 12 plus 6. And then 2x then becomes 18. Then what you need to do for you to solve for x because 2x is uh, like one thing you have to divide by 2 such that 2 into 18 is 9 there your x therefore is equal to 9 so the number is 9 so that is that you can actually uh, check if you solved your answer correctly by proving what you do is you can take this 2x if i can use a different pen there and say 2x minus 6 is equal to 12 now you know your x is 9 so you'll have 2 9 minus 6 is equal to 12 check with the calculator now the left hand side you're saying 2 times 9 minus 6 it's 12 so what you're having you are having 12 is equal to 12 so which means our left hand side is equal to our right hand side it means our solving of the equation is correct not uh, not that the answer is correct but the way you solved this particular linear equation is correct but this is how you could have approached such and it is equal to four marks that you can benefit from these from your exam. I hope this was beneficial to you. See you next time.
I hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you. And as I said, if you benefited from the video, you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below. And if you want to be notified of these videos, you can always uh, subscribe to our channel. Now, if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics, if you are studying for mathematics N1, N2 or N3 and you want the test book as well as the videos, we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics N1, N2, N3 as well as the accompanying videos. We also have videos of the previous question papers, the latest papers that were written in video form. These question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams. We also have PDF version of the previous question papers that were, that were written since 2014 until now. And if you want them, you can check all the information from our website. And trust me, these will become very handy to you. Uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try. Thank you.